Meanwhile, the current surge is stretching the state's health care system to its limits, prompting the federal government to send more relief to the front lines. Just this week, Henry Ford Hospital in Wyandotte welcomed a military medical team to back up its own struggling staff. They've been deployed to assist doctors and nurses there, overwhelmed by the pandemic. Michigan, one of six states getting additional help from the Biden administration to ease the strain. The others, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island and New Mexico. Henry Ford Wyandotte is now the fifth hospital in our state to bring in extra medical staff to deal with this influx of COVID patients. As of today, Henry Ford says it is treating more than 500 COVID patients at its eight hospitals in Metro Detroit. In addition, nearly 600 Henry Ford healthcare workers are out of work due to the spread of Omicron. Some National News reporter Kiara Hay live outside Henry Ford Hospital in Wyandotte with more. Good afternoon, Kiara. Hi, Brian. Yeah, about 30 federal agents arrived here at Henry Ford in Wyandotte and almost immediately started helping patients, reopening inpatient beds and trying to relieve some of that mounting stress on staff. For the military medical teams on the ground, thank you for all and everything you're doing. Today, during a White House press briefing, President Biden expressing gratitude to the 800 plus federal emergency members sent to help hospitals in need. At least 30 are downriver at Henry Ford Wyandotte. Obviously, we welcome and uh, are grateful for any support that uh, we have. Officials with Henry Ford Hospital say right now 520 people are hospitalized with COVID, a 10% increase from last week, and 87 beds are closed because of staffing shortages. Unlike prior surges, Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital's emergency department is receiving an extremely high volume of non-COVID patients, as well as a pretty significant resurgence of COVID-19 cases. Bob Riney, the chief operating officer at Henry Ford, says the federal aid will come in two waves. The first civilian disaster medical assistance team will stay until next Friday. The Department of Defense group will come immediately after and remain for 30 days. So we are looking at, um, you know, 40 45 days of total support, and that has a much more meaningful impact. Henry Ford Wyandotte is the fifth hospital in Michigan to have federal troops step in. Riney says the extra hands will not solve the problem. There is not a silver bullet solution. But it helps. This is what I would call a real help in terms of it does add meaningful clinical capacity, but it's also a mental boost too. Uh, it is a, a great sign of hope, optimism to our care teams that they're not alone. Now, Riney says that extra mental boost is really needed because the frontline workers here at Henry Ford have been very, very tired for a very long time. Now, right now, the federal aides have reopened about 24 inpatient beds, but it's yet to be determined how the new wave of federal agents will help. So we will continue to follow this story live in Wyandotte 7 Action News. An important story to tell. They are absolutely exhausted and struggling to keep up their compassion. Kiara, thank you.